Hey, kids, I hope you don't mind me eating breakfast. So I checked earlier this morning, probably about 4 a.m., and um, carbon dioxide it's, uh, at the Copernicus, KM's Copernicus page. Carbon dioxide wasn't up yet, and methane wasn't up yet. It came on about, oh, 7 o'clock this morning, I guess, or something. So look, guys. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, the fuckery never ends, man. So, all right. So the shit was off for probably, I don't know, a week. Carbon dioxide and methane were not available right here for about a week. Comes back on. <laughs> and look, kids. There is no gas coming off of Sweden anymore <laughs> or Russia. Um... And look at this. This is interesting. This is fascinating. See this little plume right here? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> uh, you're going <clears> to <throat> look closely here. You probably want to look at this on a big screen, uh, not on your phone, so you can see this. It's a little plume of methane coming off up here. Um, <clears throat> so, wow. That's fascinating. Um I can't imagine that they went on, you know, if they were able to go and, 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 and duct tape those, uh, those pipes <laughs> in that amount of time, then uh, why don't you just leave the duct tape on there, guys, you know? <laughs> but my guess is that it's uh, some, some numerical uh, fuckery, and, uh, or maybe not, I don't know. But, you know, the biggest producers of methane in the world are uh, the rice fields in India and China. It's been that way forever. It's been that way probably for 11,000 years, frankly. Which is probably why the, the, the tip of the, the spike, the global warming spike on this particular uh, interglacial period is, is kind of knocked off. That leak of methane probably moderates temperature. That's my theory. The methane off switch hypothesis. Total column methane looks kind of nominal, but see how green it is up here in Russia. And it kind of looks that way, you know, total column wise, it kind of looks that way anyway. Boy, they cleaned some shit up, looks like. Um, yeah, wow. So, um, didn't look like that last year. So bravo, fellas. Oh, and now it's potholers' opportunity to go in and say, right, mate, <laughs> which is a really bad imitation. I guess he's English. I guess. I can't imi I do a terrible imitation of him, but now he can say, now there's no evidence. There's no evidence. Well, he says, but there's no evidence. Yeah, there's no evidence now because they cleaned it up. Oh, and by the way, let me let me tell you this that all my evidence is all over Washington, D.C. right now. So, yeah, I saw the bend in my fence, guys. <laughs> and you're like, you're like way late. You guys are day late and a dollar short because that shit is all over Washington, D.C. right now. All my evidence. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's documented up the ass sideways. So thank you very much. <laughs> you know, who you fucking people think you're dealing with? I mean, really. Just incredible. So here's the, oh, this is the other one, the pièce de résistance. Look at this. Jeez, oh, that's, that's ought to make everybody feel better. It's a much nicer looking. It's, <laughs> hey, this is, you know, so it took you geniuses a week to attenuate that signal. That's fascinating. I mean, that's just fascinating. fucking aiding. Right? Where's that methane 50 hectopascal? That should be it. No, that's not it. I'm sorry. Hey, let's look at that. Uh, that's a surface level. Now let me go over here. Yeah, that's total column. Let's look at that 50 hectopascal and see what we got. I gotta go to work. <laughs> oh, he's gotta go to work. 
He's got to go to work. Yeah, I see, man, I see all your operators, people. I see them all now. <laughs> I can see clearly now the rain is gone. And that doesn't look nearly as bad either, but, you know, you're not going to be able to... Guys, you're not going to be able to hide the fucking ozone hole, bro. You know? I mean, that's just a... T you know. You know, what are you going to do? Like, what are you going to do? Go through and, like, totally... I mean, what are you guys trying to look at? That, that shit there, man. I mean... Guys... I can, I can see the argument now. Look, we, you know, then we're not going to... There's things we're not going to be able to hide. We're not going to be able to hide this, this giant footprint of fucking ozone that can only come from one fucking source, man. The only way that you can get that much fucking ozone in the atmosphere this time of year. Right? You're not going to get that from plant sterols. It's got to come from methane. It's got to come from a vol volatile organic compound. <laughs> uh, you're not going to be able to hide that. That's a clear, you know, that's a clear footprint of methane. Look at that. <laughs> you know, you're not going to be able to hide that. <laughs> Hey, fucking people, I can see that, I, you know, I can see that argument, I can see these, this heated debate. Yeah, oh sure, we can attenuate some of the signals for a while or whatever, but what the fuck are we doing? It's a multi-billion dollar operation, man. European Space Agency, really? You guys are going to really? Come on, man. Please tell me, and I want to hear from somebody at the European Space Agency, I ain't got time to send anybody emails and all that shit. Come on, y'all. Somebody tell me. <laughs> oh, we looked at the data and it was, you know, it was, how are you going to, really? I mean, really? So there it is. That's, that's your, uh, that's your ozone hole. Look at this shit. That, that white there, that, that means there is like a devoid of ozone. So... You know, hey, play whatever kind of games you guys want to play, man. Really. So, the story is, you guys have seen my other videos. Now, here's this. <laughs> the fucking uh, carbon dioxide and the methane um, pages were not, you couldn't get the, it was offline for probably about a week. Comes back up. Methane kind of sort of looks about the same. It's a little bit attenuated, and you know, hey, look, sure, that could be an explanation. But I got to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something right now, dude. If 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 this carbon signal right here attenuated that much by itself in 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 real time in a week, then we ain't got nothing to worry about, right? Fucking people you're dealing with. Yeah, I want to hear something from you, potholer. Please, please. Please, potholer, have a think. Yeah, come on. Come on, let's talk about it. Now we see who's really driving the bus. Russia, Sweden. Yeah. We see who's driving the bus on this bullshit. And you know what it's for, right? It's to keep the methane in the United States of America, the top producer of oil and gas in the world, in the ground. That's what it's all about. Because the United States is 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 keenly susceptible to green, well, not so much anymore, but to, to green initiatives. And by the way, another little thing, you wouldn't even know about global warming if it wasn't for the oil companies. Because the oil companies fund uh, all of the PR, all of the global warming PR. You wouldn't know about it if it wasn't for the oil and gas companies. They're the ones who fund that shit. Hundreds of millions of dollars to tell you about global warming, to warn you about global warming. Why do they do that? Because if you've got a if you've got a a a, a bottle of tequila, you're gonna wanna you know and you only got one bottle, which is what they think. You know, here are all that shit about peak oil and all that. If you got one bottle of tequila, you're gonna wanna sell that shit, buy the shot glass for as much as you can get. And that's what that shit is all about. 
Remember the XL pipeline thing? Oh, if they complete the XL pipeline, it's game over. Game over. Oh, and another thing, too, right? It's game over, right? So they've got all this production up in Canada, and what they do is they produce a choke point for delivery. Now they gotta get, they got to carry that stuff on rail lines because you can't put in a pipeline because of the green movement, right? It produces a false choke point. It drives up... <laughs> It makes supply, it tightens up supply, drives up demand, and drives up price. Make sure it, it keeps their profit levels high. And they're all in on it. Even Iran, they're all in on it. Another thing, too, Suleimani was probably too big for his britches. That was a hit from Iran. How did, how did, you know, how did Donald Trump hear about it? Somebody had to tell him about it. Some, they had to get tipped off from somebody. Suleimani was a hero. If you look at the, the crowd size for his funeral, that tells you that he, was, that he was very popular to the Iranian people. The mullahs probably didn't like that shit. They said, man, this guy's getting a little big for his britches. You know, maybe Suleimani wanted to, and, and they want to, but, you know, they want to reunify Iraq and Iran back to the great state of Persia because Baghdad used to be the capital of Persia, which included Iran and Iraq. Persia was broken up into Iran and Iraq. The Iranian, you know, the mullahs, they wanted him gone. So that's a, that's a gift that they gave to Donald Trump, and, and they're all in it. You know, it's like, it's, like, it's like wrestling. It's like watching wrestling on TV. It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit to keep you paying. You know, you should probably be, we should probably be paying like 50 cents a gallon at the, at the pump. With all this capacity that we have in the United States, and we're paying how much? $3 a gallon? Just getting ripped off blind and sideways. We're being gang raped with this bullshit. So, yeah, come on, guys. Come on. Put up your videos and say, well, there's no evidence. Yeah, yeah, there is. And right now, it's all over fucking Washington, D.C. Thank you very much. My name is R. Crosby Laws, and this is motherfucking news from the motherfucking can. Bring it. Bring it.